My name is Christian White, the CEO of White & Associates Practice Consulting, Better Business, Better Dentistry. This is a blog post, and we are focusing on creating a revenue recovery plan for the private dentist, how to have a profitable third and fourth quarter. This is the first of a series of three. The number one item that the private dentist should be focusing on is how do I increase my production? Let's focus on the schedule. Our goal should be when we diagnose patients with dentistry to get them in the schedule within seven days. After seven days, the patients lose interest. Uh, the discretionary money that they would have spent on their, head, their dental health is now being spent on a garage or their house or something else. So we need to make a focused effort on doing that. Large cases, I highly recommend we get those in the schedule as soon as possible. Again, when it comes to new patients, we should make a concentrated effort of getting them scheduled within seven days. Emergency patients. Let's make a concentrated effort on getting them in the same day. All of these people, all these patients are going to have dentistry to do. We need to get them in and help them understand why they need to have the dentistry done. And we need to get them scheduled the same day if possible. And if we have time in the schedule that day to do the dentistry that day. I also highly recommend we need to have a highly talented team member talk to the patient about coming back and getting on a regular recall and how it's going to affect their overall health. I highly recommend that if you do not have a morning huddle in your dental practice, it would be a good idea to think about starting one. I can understand that we have team members who don't all come in the office at 8 a.m. Some of them may come in at other times but I think having a morning huddle in the morning with the people who are there and then possibly having a roving huddle for other people who come in later is still a really, really good idea. Everyone needs to be on the same page. Everyone needs to know what's going on in the dental practice that day. Who you know, the patients that we're gonna be seeing that day, you know, who has dentistry to do, who has undiagnosed dentistry, who has, you know, who owes us money, and all of the above. If everybody understands that and we're all on the same page, the production of the dental practice will soar. We should make a concentrated effort of getting dental procedures done the same day if possible. It doesn't always work out that way, but if the patient can come in, have the dentistry done and walk out the same day, that is really good customer service. Matter of fact, that's five-star customer service uh, in the COVID area. Patients are coming in, they're afraid to come in. If we can get them in and get them out quickly, everybody, everybody benefits from that. So I highly recommend do everything you can to try and get the dentistry done uh, in the same day with all, multiple appointments. Um, the patients will love it and they will go out into the marketplace and tell all their friends and family how wonderful you are and how quickly they got in and were able to get out. It's just a win for the dental practice we need to be looking at the schedule three months ahead. That means the doctor's schedule and the hygiene schedule. That's just called proactive scheduling, or that's just called being a good, a good business person. We need to know who's coming in the schedule. We need to know how much time we have available. Is it enough? Or do we, have, do we need more patients because we have more open time? We need to know those things so we can adjust our scheduling accordingly. And this is directly going to have an effect on the profitability of the dental practice. It does us no good to have to schedule 50 patients for one, for one month and we have 100 openings and we had 50 hours of open time and nobody really paid attention to that. Let's not do that. I also highly recommend that we have one person in charge of the hygiene schedule. You had one person in charge of the doctor's schedule, if possible. It just helps with the accountability. It just helps things go smoother. Our delinquent recall system. My biggest question to you is who's in charge of that in the dental practice? Who is accountable for that? Who's accountable for looking at you know, who was supposed to come in last month and didn't? Who was supposed to come in two months, three months, six months, nine months ago and hasn't come in yet? 
Have we contacted those people? Have we sent them some sort of an electronic communication? These are really important things to be paying attention to because being able to have a really good, profitable delinquent recall system is going to help keep the hygiene schedule full, which will feed the doctor's schedule, which ultimately is going to help our production go up, which is what we want. And, and since we did not have um, a very good March, most practices weren't open in March. Some weren't even open in April. Most practices are just kind of getting going again in May and June. So if we're going to make up for lost time, this is one of the most important pieces we need to focus on is this delinquent recall system. It's the best patient retention system we have in the dental practice. Thank you very much for listening today.